Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Thomas. This is the Nerdistic Human, and welcome back to Barbarian Invasion's Rebel Campaign. You join me. Well, we're in that turn, and naturally, in turns as the rebels take forever. <laughs> uh, some beginning lances are come to take us on, which means we're almost certainly going to lose. But you never know; we might be able to phalanx them. So, once we've done this, there are a few little battles around the map. We have a few opportunities today, so we'll see what we can do. I think Saxons are the main one that we have because last time we smashed the Saxons on this bridge over here so we're pretty much ready to go and take those lads out of the game so we're going to get onto that but first of all we take on the Ville Halle here one thing I've noticed every time I try and go into Shilchen formation my general will always face them it doesn't face whichever way I, I tell the unit to face if it's time to face this way the general will still stand right in front of them which means I reckon he'll just get annihilating the charge so I'm just gonna stand up here on this weird little hill here <laughs> just managed to find something to stand on and from this position we'll be able to hopefully stand up to and take out these lancers yeah I think they're gonna struggle oh they're gonna come around me right but they've come up the sides which makes it kind of awkward, but we'll see what we can do. Defend, lads, defend! There we go, but come on, we're spearmen. We should have this, lads. Keep going, they're shaking. We've got the general. Oh, they're, they're pulling out. New position, lads. Reform. There we are, they're coming up again. Whoa! That's kind of quite fun, isn't it? <laughs> We might be able to do this, because they are throwing themselves into our spears, but we've just got to hold. Come on, I know you're shaking. You should be able to do this. Keep going right there. We've drawn for another charge. But um, they've never got to come up. This is this is magnificent. This is basically... Oh, it's, this is like a jump in the uh, in the derby here, or something along those lines. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, this is a nice, stupid battle. This is completely pointless, almost certainly. But, um, you know, it's always helpful to have an extra unit, so we'll see what we can do. We are likely to lose this, I think. We're losing too much. We'll route at half men left. Stabby, stabby. Let's just get ourselves right into the front there. Oh, they're heading for the hills. Does that mean we've won? I think it might be. They're going. We didn't quite win completely, but we've scared them off. Perfect. A tidy start for us there. Just held them off. Ah, to Martha. I'm not sure we can win this. No. Oh, there's a general in here. That's a shame. Didn't really know what was going to be here when I attacked it. Well, we can always have a go at killing him. If we can kill him, it might just revolt. You never know. But the Zoroastrians are always a night. Like, they experience again. Those darn fiends. Right, let's head in. Charge straight in, lads. Yes. Come on. Yes, come on. I think we can surround them and get these guys to route nice and early. They won't be liking this. They're still eager, apparently, but I'm not sure they can be eager for very long because they are really surrounded. Their general is around the corner. I'm not sure that's how it's shooting at us. I don't think it is. So, come on. Get the route. Particularly you. Come on, lads. We should really be doing more than this. I know they're experienced, but come on. Yeah, no, we can't do this. Not if we're gonna take this much damage. We can't we can't even beat one unit. That's absolutely crazy. No way I could do that battle already much differently there. Oh well. Shame, but there's some random troops, we gave them a go. <sighs> and our sack here is gone, but it doesn't really matter. We're on our way. <laughs> Compass and uh, We're on our way to take the next. Uh, what now? Ah, oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Um, yeah, they got an army back to us at Clonia Agrippina. On the last time I played this campaign, we could really slaughter them here nice and early, but they just—they've just had time to gather some forces together. 
Can I even take out this guy? Is he even worth battling? I'm going to give it a go, see if we can snipe this guy at the start, but I doubt it. Let's try give it a go anyway. Right, we are straight into the battle here. And... Throw your javelins, lads. That's good. Going to die. But we can always try. Our only chance really is to just to plough into him right at the start and just hope we get a lucky kill on the general. General is out of position though. We could just about do it. They hold? No, they're not going to hold. We're going to lose once again. There we are. Well, <laughs> uh, this has been an auspicious start, hasn't it? Well, to be fair, the end of turns tends to be when the enemy attacks at five kills. Auto resolve would have been so much better. Well, we took the chance of an early lucky stab at the general and we didn't get it. Okay, back to when we're in control and we can start this properly. Back to minus 10,000, which is just terrible again. Um, but over here we are getting ourselves some troops in. So we've got some Lombard archers, three experience, and Spear Warband, three experience. That is what we need. We just need to think about where we are going with our men. So this spear unit can come back. I'm surprised they didn't get any experience in that battle. Experience is a weird thing sometimes. So the Saxons. They have a general in there. And they have these lads outside. A bit of experience on them. But I think the generals can pretty much do this job by themselves. In fact, they're going to have to because we don't really have anything left. We need to take out that Saxon town in order to get the money. Um, ooh, fleets. We can't do very much with that right now, but... I can possibly go and see what the Saxons are up to. Yes, so they do actually have one more here. They're factionaries here, so we're not going to kill them if we take this out. But I think we definitely could get moving straight to Campus Freesea afterwards. That would be a good plan of action, I think. As of this boat, I haven't got much use for these boats. I should do have a port over here. I could actually disband them for the money. We'll just spy for now. It's good to get a little grip of what there is. There's not a lot of troops over here. We'll see. Something interesting might happen there. Oh. Well, it's not really worth holding that, but it is worth us having a go in this direction. So, get to the bridge. You back us up. Right, if they want to attack us on the bridge, they are welcome to. But otherwise, we're just going to have to try and hold this position here for now. Um, yeah, we've got them besieged over here as well. So, we've got some opportunities down here in Spain. This is a lot of peasants, but if we're on the bridge, we might just be able to swarm them and use the archers and the general. So we'll see. We will see about that. I definitely think we're better off coming south than trying to hold this over here. But Adigala is one that you do tend to get as the rebels quite a bit. It tends to rebel. But down here in Spain is very weakly guarded. So if you can just get a few forces, you're in a good, good position. Let's head to somewhere where I know I can win, Cyrene. <laughs> Let's just, let's just auto resolve this one because this will go nice and simply for us. And we will. Should we exterminate? Do we want to exterminate Sirene? It's a good question. Probably we do. We just need any money we can get right now. Um, yeah, we'll just go to very high tax rate. I've just been playing um, as the Eastern Empire on here for myself. And, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm, used to the, I'm used to the public order being a big issue, but remember, this doesn't matter anymore. Ah, uh, just love it. Right, I can get some units. I can indeed get some units. So it wasn't a mistake to chop the population down because I can still recruit something. I was worried it was slightly too small. Okay, the force here, I need to decide what I'm doing because there's a chance to go west. Ooh. That's, they're useless. I don't know why I went ooh. The main reason I went ooh is because I thought I could spy, but I can't, can't really see far enough to make them useful. Oh yeah, we have Philadelphia as well. That's lovely. We can march into there. We'll get on that very soon as well. Yes, yeah, so now we've got Cyrene. We need to make a decision, really. If we had some boats, I might go over to Crete. But what I need to do is... Uh, ooh. Right, not that interesting, but a couple more units. Peasants can kind of head over there. And archers can kind of wander back to us. The peasants can go over a little scout, because there isn't a lot to the Romans over here. But the Berbers can be a problem for us because don't really have enough to deal with those but the romans are quite 
yeah, sparsely defended. And these guys might be useful yet if we keep wandering through the mountains. We will see, we will see. We could have a good opportunity here. We see some of these troops, so we've got the chance of either Alexandria, which is risky, very risky, because you never know what they're going to have. What I could do is try and get this unit of peasants around, because I've got more coming in. I could try and see, but then I might lose the, the speed. Yeah, we'll come back to that one. We'll come back to that, because what we need to do to start with, we'll put this under blockade for one. Uh, oh yes, we have Carnutum, which should be okay, and then we also have the Saxons over here. I'm going to head into the Saxons, let's get into another sizeable battle here, or into a big sizeable battle. And we're going to, oh they do want to do it, that is perfect. So we can take out these lads before the general comes to reinforce, and that's fine. I think we can overwhelm these lads. Might be spearmen, need to be wary about the keel. Um, so they've got a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more defence than the normal levy spearman lads, but that is encouraging because I can probably get some Saxon kill when I take it then. That'll be grand. Okay, and Gelder himself, it's just the general coming in. Gloomy, that's minus morale, but that's in his own unit, I suppose. Um, we obviously want to kill everyone in this battle. So nothing too big here. Oh, that's plus two morale, so they will keep fighting that general then. Okay, well let's head in and let's see what we can do. I reckon, even if he is 51 heavy cav, we've got enough here to take him out. So let's head in and let's finish, well, largely finish up the Saxons. The enemy have brought up reinforcements right, reinforcements are coming. Cav, two of you to one side, two of you to another. Let's clear out these archers and surround the keel. Right, not a bad position to be in. Their archers are going to get some shots in potentially before we come round to them. I really want to get around them and not trigger their skirmish mode. Right, they are pulling out to deal with us. Okay, General just about hit them. Pull out. Pull out of there. You don't really want to hit them too much. Ooh, took some hits there. Okay, we're just pulling them around a bit. That's fine. We have more units than them. You pull out because they're burning for their javelins. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Pull out as well because I'm going to see more javelins coming in, I'm sure. Their general is not rushing in, thankfully. Perfect. Archers be shooting them in the back. And you come back over here. Archers, you need to die. I think we've pulled them around enough now. Yeah. we definitely pulled them enough now where the archers are out of position. You, sir, head into the levy spearmen. You finish off those lads. And you get into the side of them. Dodge the javelins. Just about dodge them. Are they routing? Yes, they're routing. Perfect. Archers, get into them. You lads, get around the side. And where are my other general? Somewhere over there. Is he still fighting? Oh, oh no, they are broken. That's fine. That lad is a bit weaker. I'm a bit worried about him. Really rather not lose any of my generals here. Right, you guys get to surround him. And you guys change over to fire. And you sort of bring yourself a bit closer because the general's going to start appearing very soon. Are we on fire arrows yet? They won't like that. They are steady only now. You guys swing into them. This lad is still mopping up. And I think we should probably pull out of this charge at this point, please, sir. That'd be clever. Ooh, we might have just caught ourselves. No, not quite. Which way are they facing? Not the right way. And they're gone. Basically no casualties then. Yep. Yeah. I should just stop shooting because you're just going to shoot us, which I think is what just happened. Um, calf. Calf, 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 calf. Get yourself back into position then. That's fine. You just get yourself back to the start position. 
Yeah, and as do you guys, that is absolutely fine. This lad over here, you struggling just to mop them up? Yes, you are. Well, we'll let you just about finish them off, but don't think we need to do much more about that. Right, there, General. He's pulling it. Oh, he's pulling out. We killed them too quickly. He's he's done with this. We're going to have to siege them out, which is annoying because that means our money's going to hemorrhage. And we really wanted to take this town to get some money. We're going to take Philadelphia instead then, just after this. Um, in that case, then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we'll continue. Wherever, wherever these guys are in the forest, let's get every last one of them. Right, well, we're not going to quite take it this turn, sadly. But with Philadelphia going... Well, hopefully... With Philadelphia being chopped down into our control, we should, 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 should get enough money to um, just spend a little bit. What I need to do is just keep getting troops, particularly in Campus Burgundii, um, where there are some good units and high experience I can go and get. So I see you back on the uh, campaign map, where hopefully we can go and take Philadelphia. Apparently it's heroic, I wouldn't say that, but it was pretty darn clear. Um, and hopefully we'll get our generals back for the next battle so that's fine it's a bit of a shame we have to take out the general now but um Victory! it's fine it just sets us back a turn or so which we can't necessarily afford but it's fine it's under siege i don't think they can get any reinforcements to me they seem like they're stuck in there at the moment and actually this boat yeah you could ship us round very quickly we might be able to get there in like a turn or so Yes, that could be interesting. So, okay, there's not a lot over here. So a bit of scouting for the boats is not too shabby. A bit quite expensive. Oh, these guys. There's no way they're getting anywhere. Although, forget about this place even existing. Only one unit. It's a shame I can't do anything there. But yes, we have Cunnington to go and deal with as well, don't we? So, Philadelphia. We can head into this one. And I think an ultra resolve against one general will be fine. We have all the spearmen in the world. Exter oh, that's tiny. That is not what we needed. Well, we're going to exterminate anyway. That is not quite what we wanted to see. Right, peasants. I'm just going to use you as a scout. They're not quicker. They're not going to get far enough, are they? Well, we will use them anyway. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Should we just put that straight into siege? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. What I think we need to do is consider Carnuntum. What's the best option with that? Because I don't really fancy taking that on with what I've got. Ah, bit of an awkward one. Bit of an awkward one. Let's try and decide what we're doing over here because we've got the Campus Burgundii camp over here. And we obviously can make a bit of money. I probably should put the tax rate up. Um, yeah, worth considering what we're going to do over here. Right, we do have a job for asses to do, which is, yep, yeah, fine for us, bar And for us, but, oh, there's our demise, but we're going to take one more city before we go, damn it. So, Melkor. Interesting. Uh, right, apparently he's a very skilled commander, damn it. Wow. There's the light of Zoroaster. Well, yep. Yeah. Drill master. Oh, that's not the annoying drill master. That's the good drill master. Okay, this guy is quite good, but it is just him and one unit of levy spearmen. Okay, well, oh, it's a shame we've lost so many of these slingers, but we just got to work with what we've got here. But two generals should be enough to take out one general, and the rest of my infantry should be enough to take out his. So hopefully we'll be okay. Let's head in then, and let's let asses do his work. A few more shots in the back here. Might just pull them into battle. Not sure quite what they're doing yet, but we will see. There's one more down at the very least. Okay, I think they're coming in to us now. Let's bring those camels in. Okay. You guys just charge in. And let's get our cab in from over here. Yes, the charge got blunted. The charge never really happened. Let's get our general in. No, no, no. You're, you're supposed to be going for this guy. 
Thank you very much. No. Go on. That guy is not listening to what I've asked him to do and he's run straight into Spearman. Run out of there. Well, that's fine. <laughs> right, we'll finish him off. Chop down the general. Oh, the camels are just being stupid. All you need to do is give them a little poke, and then the reinforcements are here. So, camels, you pull out over there. Okay. The It's just down to the general. Drop him down. He's in there somewhere. He is truly an immortal, isn't he? Ridiculous, lad. Right, infantry. You need to get into him. General, you need to pull out. You need to charge. Right, General, you charge him. Blow the horn of destiny, sir! The General is still alive somehow! And there he goes. There, General is slain. It is time to press the attack. It is time to press the attack. Um, but there, Levy Spearmen are. Ah, uh, they're awkward, is what they are. Well, right, you attack there. You sir, pull out. You cav pull out. And uh, we just want the cav to get out of there because they are spearmen, and it's just annoying. Don't mind hitting them in the flank, but I don't want to just be smashing into them for no reason. Right. Let's get a, sl a slam in. To do some good damage. You pull out, General, and this General, and these camels come in. Unfortunately, we're going to push them off the plaza because we're the ones on the edge of the plaza, which is slightly irritating, but it's just the way it goes. Um, we're just going to chop them down to the last once again, which is just not the way we really want to be doing it. But our infantry is good enough. <laughs> that that moment flying off his camel. Magnificent. Just magnificent. Uh, we have one, though. So, there we are. We are absolutely in trouble after this, though. I probably should have kept my cameras back, because I'm only going to get my cab out of here. Oh well, Thrust Bar is as now always useless on the main, main, blah, 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 on the main game, but for us, we can at least give it a bit of a sack in. It is a minor city on this. This town is Roman! Ooh, 51. Not enough money yet. That's disappointing, but I suppose we can smash up the town before we go. Which I think is what we're about to do, isn't it? Yes, indeed it is. Well, these lads can barely go anywhere. The Cav, however, might just be able to escape. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> he can reach us, but I suspect he wants to go for the town. So I'm going to pull those lads over here. These lads over here. Ah, oh, poor Sigdians. Let's just see if I can save these lads to save one unit, maybe. Ballista, just go there. Oh, I don't know. These four run over there. Just try and pull them apart. Uh, these are actually my docks now, aren't they? Just, maybe I should get rid of this boat. I'm going to get rid of this boat. I actually have a dock. Let's save myself the money. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, for our spa. Is there anything you can do for me this turn? Apparently you can retrain the Sigdians. No, you can't properly. That's a shame. Right, what can I destroy? Now that I destroy the Zoroaster, of course there are problems when it comes back. That'd be fun. Blacksmith, bye bye. Execution Square, no, no, no. The Anarchy won't have that. Trade Caravan, no, you won't be needing those either. Barracks. Not at all. Cavalry stables. No, 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 no. Archery range. No, that infrastructure, mate. But I guess I'll have this, but not for very long, so I'll get rid of it anyway. And there we go. Oh, Royal Road. Ah, nope. None of that nonsense whatsoever. Just some peasants and a diplomat. Don't really have the money for the diplomat, so we'll just be leaving that. Perfect. So, minus 1702. 
What more could you ask for from the city? It's not doing very well for us anymore, is it? Right, well, I saw the population. I've just smashed all the buildings. And we're going to try and run away. Oh, I could hire some more men. I don't really want to. I'm going to see what I can do with these lads. See if I can pull them back down here. Ars is over here, the bloody pagan that he is. A good ambusher. Might be useful yet. We'll see if anything survives from that end of the world. Um, we could have some fun with him. As for these lads over here, they have... Turkey is always so well guarded, so I'm just going to get three ladders. Uh, oh, no, we can't do anything out of these guys. We... no. Oh well, we will... we'll just put them under siege. We'll just annoy them. See what, if anything, we can do. Okay, so these lads. I had a little thought about some of the lads over here. I was wondering if I'm... Um, it depends if I've got a boat or not. I don't actually have any boats over here. So I've got tons over in the west where I don't need them. And I've got none over here. I was thinking maybe I could get these forces together and wander towards Constantinople. I think I might do that because, honestly, the Roxolani aren't wandering off properly like I want them to. Stand on the bridge. Oh, you see, they are actually out of the town right now. We can't do that, they are actually out of the town. But, no, it's not really going to work for me. What I would like to do is just kind of get these troops somewhere useful. But I've got tons of troops this end of the world and I've got nothing to do with them. Really irritating. Actually, I have some over here as well. So, hmm. Just head down for now. Head across. They'll be useful at some point. We will see what we can do with them. This is a turn of lots of odd opportunities here and there. Conintum is a tricky one. I'm not really sure what to do with that. Um, whereas the Saxons is a bit more clean cut. We know what's going on. The same down in Spain. This is probably all they've got in Spain. Because honestly, on the last time I did this campaign, they had about one unit, two units in every town. And there was this one battle I had to fight, really, where I took them out and that was it. Um, oh, the other opportunity is down in Africa, isn't it? I think Alex, I think we're going to go for um, high, you know, high high risk, high reward. I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to leave those 17 in the city, just so it doesn't get walked into instantly. And we are just going to head straight towards Alexandria because we've got half a stack there. We might as well, and give it a poke. You never know what's going to happen. And to be honest, these trees in Philadelphia. I don't know what else is lying around, but we we can go have a poke at Jerusalem. Why not? The only thing I would say before I do that is can I get round to this end? Yes, I can. Nope, the game isn't going to let me. Well, that's just brilliant, isn't it? I was trying to make it so that I wasn't going to get caught out by uh, the zone of control. They might actually be able to catch me now. I was hoping to get around there. Because I know there are no troops that can catch me, but oh well. Oh look, we've got a new army right here. It's almost as bad as the last one. Except this time it actually has a general, which could make all the difference. So, do I want to hire a unit here? I don't know. But, can I do this with just him? Hmm. I can take out those spearmen by pinning them and hitting them in the rear with this general, that's for sure. It's the same man. Oh, no, he's a bit more tanned. He's been in the desert a little bit longer. <laughs> There's not much to gain from taking this, but it is going to annoy them. It does give me a secure back to go and go and take Petra back off the Romans. So it's it's worth doing. I think if I have one unit of Archer Cav, that will make a huge difference. But, 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 what I really need to do is spend some of the money over here. I need some Spear Warband where I can get some experience on them. Are they going to get experience? Yes, they're plus three experience as well. What is my finances? Minus five. Yeah, I'm still losing about 10,000 because until I've got a few more settlements, I'm just going to struggle. So, Campus Chatty over here. Keep pumping out. You are fine. You've already got some units. Where else do we have? Because we, we just don't have any way that can get us any units. That could have got us a warlord by now, but alas, alas. We um, can't cry over spilled milk. That's long gone. Okay, I think our only choice, really, of recruiting units is some here. Pro pro yeah, actually. Let's just get a line of units out of Cyrene. Let's just get a couple more units. I don't really want the calf, but I do want you. A couple more units out of here. If I have two archers, four spearmen, I can probably do something. 
Especially if I can get one of these generals to come and join them. I might send one of them over, but the only thing is, is that my big strength here is that I have four generals. But I'm going to struggle to get more spawn in with so few cities. Jerusalem, hopefully, is doable. And after that... Well, we're just going to wait for Alexandria, but that'll be quite a few turns yet. So we've just got to find where our opportunities lay. We need to spend the money, basically. So... I don't, I don't think it's worth spending money with this guy unless I know he's going to make it. Because this guy will take him out if he catches him. I'm just hoping those other battles distract him for long enough. I wish I had a general there. But this guy here... I think it's worth getting that hip attack, the tax truck sh 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 over there. I, don't, I reckon he could do something useful for us. So I'm going to purchase him. And over here we're just lacking the general, which is a shame. This lad could buy some, if we could afford it, which we can't anymore. He could buy some, but it's probably not worth it, even if I could afford it anymore. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. We can still get some camera raiders. Honestly, I don't think they're very good. But it does help us mop up some troops. I don't think that's worth bothering with right now. I think much more pertinent to us is just to spend our money here where I know I can get some high quality troops. And I've just got to hope that I can hold on to that in the meantime. Right, I think that's pretty much what I want to do. The, I'm just going to mop up around the map. The only other thing I can think of is the question of Carnentum. And I might be better off just holding out. At the very least, I've been able to spend some money, and that was the main reason I needed to go for it this turn. I think I'm better off just letting it trickle down a bit, and we'll just see if we get any other units pop up, because we might have a bit of luck yet. Oh, okay, so big battle with the Roxolani. Honestly, this force was just stuck so far from anything that we might as well throw them against a brick wall, also known as a bridge full of Roxolani lads. So, bit of a weird glitch going on there. That man has three legs. How bizarre. Well, this is going to be a defeat, but let's just see what we can do. If we have about three units, or two or three units of infantry, then we might have a chance, but nope, this is not going to work. Let's go. Right, my plan is get these archers at the front. They are going to act as infantry. <laughs> That's really the best I can do, to be honest with you. These lads can kind of come across. And these lads across this way. I really can't do much more than that. These lads are going to go skirmish mode off as well. Bring themselves towards the front with the horse archers in behind and honestly I'm just going to try and see what damage I can do. I do, I mean I could get I could get some um, some routes going here because I have just a big array of slings going smashing into them you know there's a chance of it doing something but um, I think it's unlikely we're going to get very far in this battle. I suspect we will lose but there we are. Let's get these archers onto guard, they are indeed and everyone ran into position. Now, of course, we are going to get quite a few shots away. We do probably, actually, they're going to be herdsmen, don't they? What terrible. But, um, no, I don't think we've got much of a chance here. What we'll have to do is just see what damage we can cause these guys. You guys shoot them, please. Archers can do some, whatever damage they want. If they want to take their time to get ready, we are absolutely full of missile units here, so we can do some good damage if they want to take their time. Honestly, the herdsmen probably aren't worth shooting down unless they're um, they're coming in first. Almost in range of this front unit here. Once we can shoot them, I'm gonna focus fire on them. Be it these two can shoot those archers there. Come on. Get your shot in. Come on. No, you stay still. Shoot them. Right. We've got some people in range. The slingers have a much shorter range, unfortunately, which means they can only really hit things when they're towards this bridge here. These slingers don't have much of a range at all. You might as well join in with them. The game doesn't really like it when you throw them all together, but there we are. They're down to six. Don't even worry about those lads. 
shit into the warlords. Don't move. Stay where you are and just shoot what you can. Shoot the yeah, shoot the virgin lasses. There we are. We have the uh, well, the Sarmatians with the virgin foot arches here, with that old sort of apparent um, tradition. This part of the world of the women can't. Oh, there we are. They have a personalised screen. They look pretty cool though, don't they? Yeah, apparently they can't get married until they've killed someone, which I suspect would suggest to you is a terrible way of running a society. Because you're just going to have a load of dead women, and you kind of need women to have more people. So, fortunately, they've gone for general at the front, which is the worst thing that could possibly happen to us. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely the worst thing that could possibly happen because we're just going to get routed like this. Yep, in they come. And honestly, if we can shoot into them still, then we might as well. We actually don't want you to be fleeing, sir. We want you to be staying nice and close to give us morale. So, you lads shoot into them. Thirdsmen, try and push into them too. Yeah, we just don't have the morale for this because we're just not infantry. They've gone with other units first, we might have a bit more of a chance, but there we are. Right, you lads, go and be infantrymen and go and crush them up. You can kill the general, we might have a chance, but honestly, we're more likely to just mass routes. It's a shame, really, because we have a lot of a lot of units here who could do some real damage. But, no, it's not going to happen, obviously. Not going to happen. Herdsmen, go and do something useful. We did a bit of damage before the battle started, 28%, but we're pretty much gone at this point, aren't we? You lads shooting at them. You lads, just see if you can do anything to them whatsoever at this point. Ah, we're getting charged in the rear. By the Warlord. Go and kill that Warlord. Nope. We are... Oh, there's one route. We've got one route. Woohoo! We're, we're doing some damage, but there's just way too many routes going on. Not a lot we can really do. And it's over. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately we couldn't do that as it was. We possibly should have just waited, but they were so far from anyone else and they cost us a fortune. Not worth it. They've actually besieged the town! Which means we might just be able to actually save a few more of those troops. That's exciting. But Agala is there. Right, to finish us off today then, a big bridge battle here with this, well, in Spain. Because if we can win this, we can win this. Spain is there for the taking, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see what we can do. Free Federati. We're on a bridge. I've got a chosen warlord. Um... We've got a lot of peasants and only peasants, but I reckon we can do this. Let's go, Captain Julius. Let's go. Okay, let's get everyone in. General, blow the horn of destiny. Come on there, General is right there. Let's stab him. We are right on there, General. Come on, kill the general, he's right there! Out, general, pull out of there. And we are going to just swing across to this side now. Bring yourself back in here, lads. Right, just after the volley, and into their rear. Could do a good bit of work for us. Ooh, a few arrows into our own backs there, but... Let them get a shot in. And swing back in. Come out of there, General. They are routing, they are routing, but I think we've done some good damage so far. What are we on? 32 to 40. That's okay, we can do a bit of skirmishing. Swing back into there, General. Let's catch him here with a charge. I think we might get him. 
How do we not kill him with that charge? Oh, he took that like an absolute demon, didn't he? Okay, well, let's just pull out of it. Just keep fleeing from them. Let's hit them in the rear. Want me to get there, General, this time. Our archers can just keep on running. That's fine. General yep, fleets. their general is fleeing. You just go into skirmish mode. All peasants getting on them. And now they're distracted. Turn and face them. That's it. <laughs> Needing the head by our horse. That's how we all wish to go. Yeah, he's dead. And all infantry head into them. All infantry head into them. There are routing units nearby. I think we're going to get him. Swinging. Swinging. Sweet chariots. Well, they're not quite sweet chariots, but there we are. Swing low. Sweet horsemen general. That was a terrible, terrible charge. Uh, yeah, there we are. And that's the battle. There we are. Archers, you stop shooting, please. Just run at them. Okay, we uh, we took some heavy damage there, and I'm hoping we haven't lost too much to actually take the town. But 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 that was three units of proper infantry, and those federatis are no joke. So we've done a good bit of work there. Done a good bit of work. We just got to hope that enough of our general will come back. Unlikely because the casualties normally only recover things like missile units, not really from things like, um, you know, stabbings. And that's what this really is. They've been stabbed. So unlikely they'll survive it, but we can always hope. Right. So see you back on the campaign map and we can just ponder where we are before the next episode. This is a moment. Of triumph to save her. Roman arms have crushed the enemy. Yes, Roman arms have been crushed by the enemy. Heroic victory, even though the kills is almost the same. I think that was a generally very well fought battle. Actually, we got, we just managed to pull out at the right time, regroup, and sometimes as the rebels, that's what you need to do. You know, you can easily throw in the town when you get a, a mass rout, but I left one unit back, and it just meant that. I didn't get everyone routing and we could just pull ourselves back together and the peasant charge was absolutely necessary to still win that battle so marvellous um, ah there were some reinforcements over there well I'm just gonna race them across Spain then find another town to attack yes so should in Chinchinchur he's the lad over here isn't he that means he'll... <laughs> okay where are you ah you're over here then the no named governor over here but he's got himself some troops. That's okay. That is okay indeed. So, we got the boat there. We can next turn then. Take Vicus Saxones. And hopefully then swing by the Saxon... Well, probably will be the new Saxon capital. So I don't think they captured anything over here. They do tend to send a boat there. Judging by the amount of units they have around. I'm guessing that they have sent a boat over to... Go and make Anglo-Saxon... Saxon... Um, I guess the angles may have already been, but there we are. Uh, minus nine thousand as ever, and yes, we can see there. There is a yeah. There's definitely a big force coming for us. I'm gonna bring us over here then. Put us onto the boat and get us way down this uh, particular section of the country, and we will swing in and go and take one of the other ones. Carfagan, I guess. Yes, it should be right here actually, if it's the one that I think it is. That's Carfaga Nova. Um, yes, marvellous. Okay, well, next time we're going to lose out a few settlements. But, 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 but. Oh, they're still fighting around. The hunt's weird. Okay, we have a few opportunities. Our lads over here have the chance to actually keep going. So that is quite exciting. He's going to plod off in this direction. These guys are just going to get scattered and lost, but there we are. Alexandria potentially could come under siege before very long. Lovely. We're just going to keep plodding our way towards there. We haven't been attacked at Jerusalem. So good chance we... Maybe not. Good chance we have a, a chance at dealing with them. Just going to put the peasants in here. Some of the archers to the bridge. Yeah, Eastern Spy. Yes, but there's quite a lot of opportunities next turn anyway. But we'll get to that next time. For now, I'm Thomas. This is Tenodis to Human. And I've been playing Barbarian Invasions Rebel Campaign. I thank you. And good night. No, 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 no,
Oh, oh, sweetie pie, I've got a deal for you. Oh. I a sweet little magic card. Just 500 dollars. Just 500 of my precious dollars. I'm standing on a chair right now. I can't get down. 